Now, according to your time and task, you were just in this bathroom about 10, 15 minutes ago, correct? Yes, sir. Were you pretty much right on time with that? So about 10, 15 minutes ago, you got done with that? Yes, sir. And within that 15 minutes, um, you stocked up the paper towel dispenser, correct? Yeah, 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 of course. I did my job. And then by the time I came back through to check up on the bathroom, you are saying someone had taken the paper towel dispenser. Well, they, they, taken they, they the had paper to. Towel. I, I, I filled it. They, somebody had to take it. I, I filled okay. it. Okay. And you know, do you know anyone uh, throughout the city who else has keys other than us to open up these paper towel dispensers? Uh, anybody could open them. Anybody can? Yeah, okay. of course. Anybody you know, I found the paper towel roll empty on, in there when I opened it up. Oh, they must have switched them. They just switched them out. They, they, had, they, they had to have. Does this happen a lot? Because I know this no, is like the third never, time this, this has never happened. happened. This, no, this wasn't me. Sir, you, you got the wrong bathroom. This wasn't my bathroom. This I, wasn't your bathroom? I didn't do it. Because this is your time and task, right? You just told me that. <laughs> Turning it into a fact finding versus a fault. Say, okay, we want to gather the facts so we can fix it. There we go into the root cause and corrective action. And asking them, why do you think this is happening? Because we ask them what their opinion is. I think that might engage them more. If they're you know, lying about it, and you'd, you'd almost have to catch them in the act of lying, well, and that's kind of hard to do. Say, right. Hey, I did it, my bad. So you I don't want to, right, and you don't want to accuse them of lying if you don't know that they're lying. Because mm -hmm. they the may have done it, and there may have been a maintenance guy that came in and snagged it be, for whatever reason. So really what you want to just try to do if you don't know that they're lying is just try to understand where they're coming from, let them understand that, you know, it's okay, understand what you're saying, we just need to make sure that you know, we watch this. And if this is a constant issue that I do my proper follow-up as a manager, whether it be Bring get with my client and let him know so that I don't have it coming back on me as a manager of them, you know, me getting a hit or me getting a, um, you know, um, having an issue for that day that's got to be recorded. The bottom line is like what Rob said is, he, I don't want to get an issue, I don't want to have a complaint. That's actually excellent. Stay proactive with your client. If when I see the dispensers open or empty, I leave them open, leave them down, and then I walk through with the person, say, listen, this is what I found. And then do it again and again. And you do it, if you do it to the same person five times in a week every day, hopefully the next week they'll understand. <laughs> but it just, you know, I leave the dispensers open for them. This way they, they know I checked it and you can physically, and you know, physically then see, and then this way you don't have the hits that you get, right. First time it happened, no big deal, go ahead, take the doctors, I didn't say anything. Second time, I asked for a doctor's note, all right, because it was like two or three days later. He came in with a prescription, like one of those little pull-off things that you get from the doctors for a prescription that says, so-and-so needs to be off this date, signature. I know the guy's signature. I know he had gotten a pad somewhere and wrote that thing out himself. I know he did. And I confronted him on it, and I said, look, I know this is your signature. I've seen it, and I compared it to him, and I actually gave him a write-up for it. Um, now, something like that, I mean, that was a blatant lie and dishonesty. I mean, he was trying to pull stuff, and yeah, he's an all right worker and everything, but that was something I didn't quite know how to handle. I didn't know if I could just, I don't know, like I said, I wrote him up for being dishonest and wrote him up for taking too many time, too many days off. I hadn't had an issue since. I've had two other times where I've had employees where I don't trust the doctor's note. And I'll get different types, whether it's from clinics, doctors, whatever, they'll all come in some kind of different form, whether it's a printout or it's just a regular handwritten pad or it's a type out. So you're going very fact, the, the fact finding. Good. And it's, and it's working for you. Good. It shows the situation as well. So I think, I mean, I think that was really good. I, I think there was good interaction showing how people will react to it. I'm really glad to hear feedback. Thank you. Welcome. Appreciate it. Um, thank you.